Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a math drills tutorial video uh, multiplying by six. I do a lot of multiplication videos and other math drills videos, so make sure to check those out in the link below and also at the end of the video. Multiplying by six is actually pretty tricky for those that are starting to learn their multiplication tables. There's much easier ones like fives and twos and tens, but six is kind of tricky. Six, seven, and eight, I would say, give uh, students the most trouble. But we're gonna kind of go through this, talk through any strategies, and hopefully it'll get a little bit better. But honestly, the best way is simply to practice. My recommendation would be printing out this worksheet a couple times. Do it completely start to finish, take your time with it, and then start timing yourself. Try doing the exact same worksheet again, and you'll get faster and faster. So with sixes, okay, so um, not a lot in terms of tricks. Like I said, the fives have some tricks, the tens, but the sixes are just a lot of memorization. You're gonna have to memorize some of these sixes. A couple different uh, things to remember. If you're multiplying the sixes, you're gonna have even numbers always, okay? So if you get an odd number in there, like 31 or 17, then you messed up somewhere because these are incorrect answers. You're not gonna have any odd uh, answer for an, an odd product for any of these multiplication facts for the sixes, okay? So if we do, for example, standard algorithm here, zero times six gives us zero, and then six times one, six, okay? We get 60, that's an even number. Then we do six times five, and that is gonna be 30. Five is half of 10, okay? That's another way to figure that out. So if you know 60, five is half of 60, so that's 30. That This is probably a staple that you should try to memorize. This is definitely one you should get the hang of, you'll, you'll see that number a lot, okay? Six times five. Six times one, obviously, we have six. Then we have 12 times six, this is a tough one. This is 72. Okay, here's another tough one, seven times six. Okay, I've noticed that students struggle, especially with anything. We have six times seven, or seven times eight, or six times eight. Those are all uh, in this range, the six to eight range is where students struggle the most, okay? Just to keep in mind. So those are the ones you probably need to work on the most and memorize them both. So we have six times two is 12. We have 18 here, six times three, 18. All, again, all these are even numbers. Here's another one you definitely should have in your wheelhouse, okay? That means like your, your comfort zone, six times six, 36. These two, okay? Two times six and then three times six. Okay, those are some of your more basic ones. Four times six, okay, 24, 24 hours in a day. Um, then we have nine times four, 54. The nines have a strategy. I'll talk about that in, when I get to the multiplying by nines video. And I think we're almost done with all the different combinations here. And then there's just a lot of repeats. So we have 24, I'm just kind of going around here. We have not done 66 yet. So we do, stand, well actually standard algorithm requires the bigger number on top. So we do six times one is six, and then six times one is also six, so 66, okay, for standard algorithm. Um, eight times six, we have not done that one yet. That's 48. Again, another 60 here, another 66, and six times six. This is one I said, said you need to kind of know. We have 54. Did I get the 54 earlier? Yes, I did. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you need any other uh, of these done, let me know, but it's really just repetition and practice from this point. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment for this or any other math concept. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.